Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, spelled S-H-E-M. Reading from a King James Bible, the record of truth for our times in this age filed in the earth by the British Crown in 1611. Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. This found in Genesis chapter 9, verse 26. These are Noah's words. Noah is the remnant of man that is recorded to be saved when the Creator, the Lord God, destroyed the earth for the first time due to the wickedness of man that have risen. Shem is the middle son of three of Noah, you understand, and this is the last will and testament recorded by Noah, the dominion ruler of the earth appointed by the Creator. Shem is the middle son of the dominion ruler of the earth appointed at that time. What does this mean? Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. You better pay close attention, old man, to Sham's God is what that means. It will be Sham that will have the one true living God. But wait a minute. We know that Sham is the father of the Arabs, the Asians or Orientals, and the North and South Native Americans. And oh yes, Shem is the father of the Jews. It is not the Arab line through Ishmael back to Shem that will have the one true God, but it will be the Jewish bloodline within the airship of Sham that will have and reveal the one true living God according to His ordainment and appointment, you understand. Blessed be the Lord God of Sham. Better pay close attention, O man, to the Jews' God because it will be the Jews within that will have the dominion ruler of this earth one day at the appointed time when all has been fulfilled according to the Creator's good pleasure and will. Yes, it will be the king of the Jews, thus the king of Israel, that will rule the world at the appointed time. That King James Bible says in the book of Acts that there are over 512 eyewitnesses or 1,024 eyeballs that give witness that the King of the Jews, the Lord Jesus Christ, was alive after he was dead. He is coming back. Do not be deceived.